we got something pretty cool to show you this time. You'd have heard me talking about in the summer, we were going to work with Swierwerken on their new hydraulic steering kit. It arrived last week and uh, I'll just talk you through it. We'll unbox it and have a little look at what's uh, in the boxes. This is their new hydraulic steering kit. Now this is so you don't have to have a steering motor doing the steering on your steering wheel. It works by connecting with a steer ready tractor's steering valve that is already pre-installed. So I'll, uh, I'll just show you an example. This tractor here, this tractor does not have a receiver on top and it's a non-steer ready tractor so it doesn't have a steering valve built in it's just a regular old steer it yourself tractor and the one next door has a receiver on top the receiver goes to a computer and then underneath the steering wheel there in that compartment there there's a, a proportional steering valve in there that talks to the computer and that's what they call a steer ready tractor this package is for a tractor exactly like this so you'd add the dome to the top We'd take a wire down to the proportional valve. You'd, uh, there's four wires, I believe. So you've got a left and a right. You've got an on and an off. And then you've got a pressure sensor that goes in there as well. And that way, instead of the steering wheel having a big motor on it and turning the wheels, and they look a bit odd in the cab. Some people don't like them, fair enough. But uh, it's just another way of steering the tractor uh, without all, uh, all those gubbins. This one already has GPS, it's already pre-installed, it's all working and ready to go. So we're not going to change this tractor, but what we are going to do is we're going to add this system to this non-steer ready tractor. And you're going to say to me, hang on a minute Matt, how are you going to do that? It's not got the bits and pieces inside it to do it. Right, so this is where this little beauty comes in. This here is the steering valve required to make a tractor steer ready. Right, there it is. So, this is our steering valve. This, this has been bought separately. We are going to convert this tractor behind us, which is a non-steer ready tractor, into a steer ready tractor. So that tractor behind has already got one of these valves already pre-installed with all the hydraulic pipes going in and out. Uh, with the controllers on there as well um, so yes over the next few months me and farmer are going to look to get this installed somewhere on this tractor we haven't decided yet this is literally just came to us this week so somewhere we need to uh, find a, a decent location for it and then you start uh, you do have to change uh, some of the tractors hydraulics to make it all work we will go through that another day because uh, at the moment we only uh, know most of where the pipes are going to come from and go but the kit is for a tractor which has already got one of these valves already so you don't have to do any of these pipe works like we're going to do uh, you would just basically find the tractor's valve like this which is it should be under the steering column under the orbital valve that's where they usually put them and uh, you would just take your harness from this kit you go left right you'd have a power in and then you would have a pressure sensor which you would add in this is the only thing you'd add in I believe and that way you could make your all your original equipment work with this kit and why would you do that well you know like this tractor here it's got an older system on it it uh, doesn't have RTK it's only accurate to about 30 centimeters uh, so a kit like this it's all up to date you know this kit is gonna you can go RTK if you want to it just makes it, that tractor uh, you know it just brings it up to date with um, its signal and everything like that so but that one's working at the moment so we're not going to change that one but we are going to change this one and it's going to take a little bit more work installing this valve on there we've got some guys uh, at Sververken who are uh, very uh, keen to help us through the process so once it's all done and installed I will talk you through where every single port goes and every single valve goes how to make it work uh, it's not going to be easy well, I'm not saying it's going to be easy but uh, it will be interesting <laughs> that's for sure and probably some head scratching so uh, we're pretty confident with where most of these ports go there's a couple on there we don't know just yet I've got to speak to the guys 
back at Sveerwerk and they will help me with that. It's a hell of a thing. Um, these are the sort of valves you find on telehandlers. You know, when you move a ram and a valve, you know, this is the sort of stuff that makes it all work. Anyway, should we have a little look in the box? This is uh, very delicate. It's got mounting points on the back, so we've got to make a bracket. We've got to make a bracket for it, and we've got to find somewhere on that tractor out of the way of everything else, so it doesn't interfere with anything, um, you know, uh, on the field wise and uh, stuff like that. So it's got to be, it's, uh, yeah, we're hoping to make a nice tidy job of it. I've seen people, some people install them in the back window. This, this will all have to be taken off while we do this. At the moment, it's, uh, the machine is being used as a trimming tool but I've seen them installed in the back here I've seen them installed under the wheel here I've seen them installed in that area I think farmer is on about making a bracket here somewhere and uh, making it work from there uh, we will see we will uh, go around the tractor and uh, select a, a suitable mounting point for it and then it's just about wiring uh, uh, piping the pipes to everything and then plugging it in, connecting it to the computer and the screen. So it's going to be a bit more work. We'll see what's in the uh, box here. We've got some, that is our battery connector. Obviously a mounting point for the dome. An angle sensor. I do believe you do, you do need to use an angle sensor with this one. Uh, with a steering wheel, I don't believe you have to use that, but uh, I might be corrected on that. That is your antenna for your uh, for your SIM card. These are more wiring harnesses. There's going to be a, a few wiring harnesses. There's uh, four connections down to this valve, so there's going to be a, uh, a left, a left and a right, an on and off, and then there is a. Uh, this is the pressure sensor valve so that has a plug on it as well that would connect into one of these ports here and that runs a cable off there as well so it's going to be uh, quite interesting actually the easy option would to be would to be to put it on a tractor like that one but we uh, we like a challenge around here so uh, we've got some mounting points some bolts what else have we got in here there should be an aerial in here there is it's very similar to the old kit here so we've got the screen big fan of the screens this one I believe on the hydraulic version is uh, slightly updated with um, a bit more uh, higher specs inside just to make everything work a bit nicer the plugs look very similar but they are different screens. I don't think you can make your old screen connect into it. They've got different plugs on. So we've got some more harnesses. The harnesses are all going to be different, you see, because they're going down to the uh, they're going down to the valve this time. What have we got here for the uh, dome? We've got a receiver. This is the update receiver that receives PPP signals. So that will uh, that will go on top. We'll mount that on top. That's the easy part. And what else have we got here? A ram mount. We've got yes, just some more wiring harnesses. But it shouldn't be and the connector for the ram mount. It shouldn't be that hard for um, a steer ready tractor. All you would do the dome would go on top. The screen would go inside. You connect to the steering valve. When, they, uh, when you order one, they do ask you to check what steering valve you've got just so they can send you the right harness to connect to that steering valve. Yeah, you have a little look at your steering valve. In, I think uh, some of them are Eaton valves. Uh, there's some other brands out there. And then they'll send you the right har wiring harness to go with it that will connect to that valve. And then uh, you don't have to change anything else. Uh, you just use what's already pre-installed. So we are going to have to change some hydraulics from the uh, tractor behind us and uh, we will go through that another day but there we go there's some other bits here some wiring pieces different types of connectors so yeah there we go a little unboxing video a little thing to show you so over the next couple of months we will uh, start looking at this tractor and uh, seeing where uh, where all the pipes have got come from and how it all goes together so if you've got a steer ready tractor 
and you don't have a receiver on there and you don't want to pay silly money from the manufacturers to add the receiver you can buy a kit like this now plug it on top plug it into the valve that's already there and uh, you're, you're away to go you don't have to pay for any any subscriptions with the signal it's all free uh, you can go RTK subscription if you want to if you need that from your tractor you can go that way and uh, it's pretty easy to install we've also bought another kit for the I think farmer's gone off with it for the 6480 I think he's gone off with that one uh, so we, this will be the third kit we've got at the farm so uh, yeah next time next time we come back I should be showing you how this all gets installed and uh, yes and I'll tell you how easy it was I don't think this is going to be super easy to install it's not going to be for your average Joe person to uh, but it shouldn't be that bad either it's just about teeing into certain pipes from the orbital valve and from the hydraulic system of the tractor so it shouldn't be that bad but uh, and we've got that the people at Sphere Verkun will help us along the way as they would with you if you were getting one and it should work very nicely with the kit here everything should be plug and play you can get separate valves you can you can order these valves separately from various companies they all do the same job um, but it's getting a uh, it's getting everything to match up wiring wise with uh, with the harness so there we go that's all it is uh, it's going to be an interesting project at the moment this tractor is being used on the hedge trimmer not today but um, it is going to be used for the next few weeks on the hedge trimmer and then hopefully we can get it off and uh, start fitting this system we're going to be working with general hydraulics on this project they're going to be helping us along the way with all the hydraulic fittings and everything like that i will put a link to uh, where they are really good hydraulic supplier they're always uh, always there to uh, get us out of a jam and with pipes they do everything everything hydraulic related they do it so uh, we're relying on them to help us with the uh, fitment of the uh, pipes and the uh, fittings so uh, that'll be good we're working with them yeah there we go that's it i'm gonna put all this stuff back so i don't lose anything but yes new project on the horizon it's obviously uh, it's mid-November here now um, so by uh, January time we're hoping to hoping to have this somewhat installed uh, so we'll see how we go got some more videos of the Severe Verkin stuff coming up they uh, have an online farm management system if you buy the advanced package you get uh, use of their farm management system which is uh, a way to in you know you can add your fields online you don't have to go out and drive around the fields you can add them all online i'll show you that on another video uh, you can add your ab lines in there you haven't got to uh, go and drive around them like you uh, normally would you can do that all uh, all sat at home behind your computer so we'll have a look at that another day we've got the uh, spring update to look at as well so with their new features like ppp signal uh, that surprised me how good that was the tram line feature on there um, and there's uh, lots of other things going on with that as well so there we go i'm going to put this away for now and uh, we'll get a day where we can uh, yeah start mocking things up we've got to make a uh, bracket that goes on the back here to uh, mount it on the tractor somewhere it wants to be out the way it doesn't want to be t interfering with uh, anything else you might need so uh, we've got to have a got to get the tractor in and get some wheels off and uh, uh, and have a little look but uh, yeah there we go exciting times yeah if you've got a steer ready tractor without a dome have a look you know give them a look because uh, it, it works nice this stuff it works nice it makes you it makes so much a difference uh, out in the fields uh, using GPS to not manufacturers will charge you an absolute fortune to put the dome in and the software and everything else I think for that what did a farmer tell me the other he told me the other day there was an update for that tractor 1700 quid just for the update um, yeah they can uh, hold on to that but uh, there we go I'm not too sure of the uh, prices on there if you go to the uh, Sphere Verkin website you can uh, gain all the prices and uh, have, a, have a chat to people there I think they're going to be at the Lama show as well so go and have a chat with them they will explain everything in great detail better than I ever will so uh, yes we will hope to see them there and um yeah that's where we'll leave it but uh this can be oh well, we didn't have a look in this box did we oh god that is a i love the quality of this box this um aluminium valve unbelievable the quality of it is uh really nice 
just a load of wires that you might need for yes all different types of wiring harnesses to connect to various types of valves uh, yeah, I doubt you'll use all of these that one looks like the pressure sensor valve uh, yes so we'll, uh, we'll see as we install it but fingers crossed it all goes in pretty nice and uh, and works really nice at the end of it and anyway, well, you'll be able to see it all through um, all through next year we'll be using it and uh, not so much in the winter we don't have much call for uh, GPS work in the winter but come spring there should be some uh, there should be some nice work for it and uh, fingers crossed yeah fingers crossed if it's anything like the other systems we've got it'll be brilliant so there we go uh, hope you like that one make sure you like and subscribe and um, we will pick this up another day in a few weeks time.